Don't you just love it when you do your whole vlog and then you realize that you forgot to switch the lights on? Hello my dear friend, it's nice you stopped by. Today I will rhyme, or at least I will try. You know all these stories where love somehow ends? One minute you're happy and the next he pretends? One day it's just over, we both should move on. It's all for the best, and then he's gone. You're left there just wondering, what did I do? You crave explanation, you look for a clue. You read through the messages, decipher the words, replay conversations while memories hurt. Remember the start when you were that girl, smart, independent, enjoying the world? Remember before when you were that guy, funny and cool without having to try? Then she came along, you both fall in love, you feel that that person fits you like a glove. Remember how you made it all about them, and their every wish was your one command? Suddenly all that he says is so true and all of your smiles hang on what he will do. Suddenly the time that you spend together is the only time that actually matters. You don't need your friends, won't give them a ring, can't remember when last you did your own thing. Because now all your happiness, now your every plan, every dream and excitement revolves around them. As a matter of fact, there's that small part of you which still can't believe that all this is true. There's a question that swims in your head secretly. Why is someone like her with someone like me? You became insecure, self-conscious, absurd. You read into every action and word. Remember that dinner and that thing that you said? You wish you could jump through the window instead. And that time when he mentioned that thing, what on earth could he possibly mean? And here, my friend, is where you went wrong. You were desperate, clingy. You should have been strong. Drowned in a feeling you lost who you were. You became insecure and you drew out the worst. Would you desire someone perched at your feet? Is clingy and desperate just what you need? So here's my advice. Remember your pride. Don't cry and don't plead. Don't call her at night. Pick yourself up, move on with your life. Yes, it does hurt, but it passes with time. Realize that if someone makes you lose you, then for sure you're better without that guy too. That's all I wanted to say. It's not something new. You shake your head until it happens to you. It's one of those stories that everyone's heard. The oldest of stories being loved and they hurt. So that's all I wanted to say really. I mean of course there's like a million and one reasons why people dump other people and relationships don't work out. But I've seen this particular scenario develop a lot with people around me and unfortunately it's happened to me as well. And from personal experience I know that one of the most difficult things to acknowledge is the fact that you blew it and regardless of what you do or say that person will probably never look at you the same way they did at the beginning. And people usually won't say that to you because obviously they don't want to hurt your feelings and you should always appreciate that, of course, this kindness. But I put this into a rhyme kind of bluntly because I, I personally prefer to be told things bluntly because I can deal with it easier if I know where I'm standing. So regardless of whether you've already been part of this scenario or you've been lucky. <laughs> um, I hope that you understood what I'm trying to say and maybe this rhyme will pop into your head in the right moment and spare you some, some pain. Completely separate from that, I wanted to talk to you about crowdfunding. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'm going to tell you. Now, this is a new idea that I'm completely in love with because it challenges the situation which used to be if you have a creative idea which is a little bit more ambitious financially you have to depend on big corporations or companies or so on to sponsor you and this is not good because you basically place all the creative decisions and power in their hands because they're the ones giving you the money now crowdfunding as i said challenges this idea if you have some creative ambition but you don't have the money to sponsor it what you do is you simply turn to people and ask for donations. Now obviously you don't just extend the hand, you write a statement or make a video in which you try to get people as excited about your project as you are. I completely love this because this means that now people who are not in touch with large corporations and so on can also make big things, can also realize ambitious creative ideas. If you want to see this in action, actually maybe you've already seen this, it's Zach Braff's Kickstarter campaign video. It came out last week and this is an A plus example of how you spark people for your idea and how you ask for money. Less celebrity but just as important 
is my friend Yasmin's uh, project. She wants to go to Thailand for several months to teach English there. And this will be great. It will help her develop as a person, as a professional. It will be an amazing experience. But unfortunately, the work is unpaid, so she will need substantial financial backing. And if you'd like to help, which I strongly urge you to do, click on the link below and donate wherever you can. There is not a minimum, there is not a maximum, just anything you can. And if you all put together, you know, personal projects come true. And again, a third completely separate point, which I'd like to make. Me and a friend of mine decided to participate in a competition about climate change. The brief is, can you inspire climate change in 30 seconds? That is a very short time, but me and my friend decided to give it a go. We made this um, short film and I'm going to link to it at the end of the video. Please click on it and like it because there are two awards. One of them is um, the prize of the jury. The other one is the audience award. And obviously the audience award is won by the number of likes. So it will help me out greatly if you go there and click like and if you share it to your friends because um, every vote counts. So that's it. Thanks for watching me ramble on. And if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Don't forget to thumb it up. If you want to see what's coming up next, it's the subscribe button above. And I shall see you soon. Ciao!